So President Museveni has been actually increasing the salary of people who are doing sciences and people, some people have been complaining. Don't be among the complainers. Instead, watch this video step by step. Understand biology because it's one of the most important sciences that you need to pass. So what I'm going to do for you, I also want you to be among the people don't complain of the increasing salaries of scientists because I want you to understand and pass biology and other sciences of course so if you are going to pass biology you need to understand what i'm going to be telling you step by step because this is i'm only going to show you how they set the biology paper especially paper one for this particular video the topics they are going to be bringing for you the elements of constructs that they are going to be looking at and what you should actually understand for you to pass biology and then i'll be ending the video by giving you sample examples of the questions how they set them so that probably you tighten your belt into this journey of understanding and passing biology you are a scientist so let's go now the first thing that i want to break down in this very video is i want to show you that the composition of the paper how is the paper going to come so when talking about biology the theory paper or the paper one biology is only going to have only five questions oh my god this feels sad but that's true we're only going to have five questions now all these five questions three are going to be compulsory and those three are going to be in section a so section a is going to be compulsory so then two i will be obviously uh, optional two will be optional and the other sections will be coming of course obviously we'll have item three item item four item five then uh, those items they are the ones that you will be choosing one from but all i want is to break down the five items or the five questions that will be bringing the they will be bringing for you so that you understand these five items how you should approach them and what exactly are you supposed to understand when you're approaching these five questions or items so i'm excited once again the first thing or the first question that we have is going to be diversity of organisms and sustainability sustainability of natural resources diversity of organisms we the organisms that are living what is our diversity and how can we be sustained in this environment but not only us but also the natural resources other than that so under these topics you are going to look at introduction to biology you look at classification you look at cell biology you look at virus insects flowering plants and then ecology so when you look at ecology you are going to be looking at concepts of ecology uh, the food chain, you are going to look at community interactions, you are going to look at human natural environment, and then lastly, you look at soil. So, basically, in the old curriculum, this will be like only three topics. Uh, they'll call this soil, they'll call it this ecology, then they'll call it this is classification of living things. I think when you look at all curriculum textbooks, that's how it is broken down. So, this new curriculum has broken down into so many sections that are easy to follow up. But when you are reading this, at the back of your mind, you should understand that the time of exams, the examiner is not going to be asking you to draw a cell just from nowhere. Well, actually, the planner is looking at that as soon as you'll be looking into these topics and understanding, reading them, you should actually appreciate the diversity of organisms and sustainability of natural resources. Diversity of organisms, looking at things like soil, pollution, and conservation. This is what should be at the back of my mind when you are reading this very section. Another thing I want to tell you, this section is very important and it is going to be under question number one or item number one. And these are the topics that are going to be looking at in that particular item. Make sure you understand soil very well. Make sure you understand ecology very well and make sure you understand classification very well. When you understand those three, make sure you actually be thinking because right now we are looking at imagination capacity. There are going to be scenario-based questions and they will be looking at your imagination. So you should understand and appreciate the diversity of organisms so that you can pass this very section. I'm so excited about that. My best topic in this section is ecology. I love it so much. I hope you also love it. And also, soil, everyone, you should understand soil. You should not fail soil. And classification of living things, obviously, you should know how to draw, like, everything about classification. Nomenclature, you should know the virus, the insects. I don't want to really, really, really. This should not be, this first section should be an is a, an is a element or an is a question. So long as you have read your books remember you need to read your book as far as your imagination should be really high the next the next item we are looking at probably is going to be uh is going to be plant biology that is botany plant biology is something that uh, is so interesting when you are actually diving into the field of uh plant 
biology. Plant biology, what you're going to look at, you're going to look at nutrition in biology, transport in biology, respiration in biology, growth and growth and development in plants, I mean. Uh, we are not talking about, in this item, we are not talking about in biology all, but it has been broken down to only plants. Looking at nutrition in plants, transport in plants, respiration in plants, growth and development in plants. In the old curriculum, it used to be that when you are talking about nutrition, we are talking about nutrition of everything, both plants and animals. But the good thing is that in this particular question, that is question number two, or item number two, you are only going to be looking at the biology of plant, that is botany. And when you are reading these four sections, what are you supposed to be in the back of your mind? The learner or you who is going to be reading, you should understand how plants obtain and use nutrients to meet their requirements. Obviously, when you talk about the nutrients that the plants are going to use to, uh, for their requirements or to manufacture their own, own food or for their survival, how do they obtain them? That is the nutrition in plants. Then how do they transport them? It's from the root up to the maybe the leaves. How is it transported? Maybe if, 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 if it is from the leaves to the roots, how is it transported? You should understand that very well. Then obviously the requirements, the requirements during which raw materials and products are carried from various organs that are involved. So I've already explained this one for you. When you are looking at a plant, look at how does it obtain its nutrients? How does it transport its, its how does it transport its nutrients from all the parts of the plant? I think this is going to be so interesting part when it comes to the plant biology. Plants are very important in the sustainability of all the organisms because one, they are the ones that have the solar energy and they make food and that food provides energy for all of us. That's why UNEP has taught it so wise and uh, our council of, of education, they have taught it so wise and gave it a full question and it is compulsory. You should understand the biology of plants. Go and read them today because you don't expect to go in exams when you don't know the biology of plants. You should understand them. So, so interesting. Another one which is also compulsory are the animals themselves. All of us are animals. It is so sad that I'm an animal. You also who is watching you are an animal. Anyway, that's a topic for another day. So plant biology, our biology as animals is also a compulsory question and it is question number three. So this question number three is going to be talking about the animal biology so animal biology you are going to look at the nutrition in animals how do you feed how do you digest that is digestion all coming in the under nutrition the things you talk about disaccharides uh proteins and whatsoever all of them are coming under this nutrition in animals you should understand them clearly obviously transport in animals you should understand how blood moves how different nutrients are moved into your body system obviously that is under transport you should also understand respiration how do you breathe in and out all those processes you should really understand them you should understand gases exchange respiration and gases exchange you should actually understand these topics uh very very clearly because they are very important excretion how do you remove the waste products that we have used away from our body, then growth and development. How do we grow and how do we develop? I think this is very important and I appreciate the fact that it is very, 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 very compulsory and it is given a full item or a full question in our paper. So it means every student, you who is watching me, and you don't want to sit on the side and start complaining, sciences are getting a lot of money, sciences are getting a lot of money. Just come here and read animal biology. Understand animal biology. Understand nutrition, transport, respiration, gases, exchange, excretion, growth, and development. You'll be able to master what we call the question number three. And question number three, this question number one, Two and three, these are the items that are very important. That's why they are compulsory, that you are supposed to know them. So make sure you take a screenshot. If if you just make me to remind you to take a screenshot, then be proud you are not a serious student. You should have taken a screenshot, you have your notebook, and you are writing all these things step by step. And now, if you have written them, you should understand now clearly the topics that you should never step the examination room, especially if you want to get into the medical field or you want to really get into so much into biological science, you want to do fields in biology, you want to have your career in biology, or else you just want to biology helps us to also understand the living things and of course their survival. If you really want to understand the living things and their survival, or else you just want to pass your biology very well, Please don't step into the examination room without knowing these 
topics, these three items, they should be at your fingertips. Know them into details. Obviously, when you don't know science, there is no way you can imagine them. First, read your books, and then we boost your imagination with the different questions, different scenarios that will be coming in. Straight away, let's get into another one. So item number four will also be on your question paper. And then this item is talking about human physiology. Now, the physiology is also an important part of biology. It is an important, interesting part of biology. And the physiology is something that when you look around and you start imagining and you start thinking about the biology, especially when it comes to physiology, you really appreciate how biology is and you really appreciate nature. Whom you believe, for whoever believes how, if you believe in God, you really appreciate God so much. And if you believe it is nature, you really appreciate the power of nature. Because it is this part of biology that explains things that maybe if we had not studied biology so much, wouldn't know. So this is where you're going to talk about coordination, you're going to talk about homeostasis, you are going to talk about locomotion, you are going to talk about osmoregulation. These are very, very, very important topics when it comes to biology. My favorite one when I was studying was actually coordination. I loved it so much. And then locomotion. But obviously, you should understand there's nothing like you should get some topics and leave some topics. They can be your favorite topics, but you need to understand also those ones that are probably not so favorite for you. So homeostasis or small regulation, make sure they are at your fingertips and make sure you understand them clearly when you're going to tackle item number four. And then the next thing that we are looking at, or the last part or the item that we have on our paper is going to be item number five. Ladies and gentlemen, item number five is as well as important as it is. I think the whole of biology is important for sure. The whole of biology is important. I just love biology. That's the, the thing. I just love biology. So when you look at it, we are talking about inheritance characteristics and their variation. So we're talking about inheritance. Most of you want to inherit your parents' properties. But some of you don't have what to inherit anyway. You are unplanned kids. Planned kids have a lot to inherit. But just know that even if you are planned or unplanned, you have inherited something from your parents. And that's what biology explains. And that's how you'll understand in this section when it comes to item number five. So basically, you're going to talk about genetics. Obviously, Gregor Mandel, the father of genetics, you'll be talking about Gregor Mandel and so on, inheritance and variation. It's going to be under genetics. Then you talk about cell division, meiosis, mitosis, they are going to be under cell division. Reproduction and sexual, reprodu sexual reproduction and sexual reproduction, uh, menstruation, all of those things about reproduction, you are going to be under here, reproduction. Actually, let me tell you something. This was the best topic during our time. Uh, when I was studying reproduction was the best topic. No one wants to miss any 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 part of reproduction. But I don't know, people just like the sexual reproduction part of it. They just like the asexual one. But obviously, when it comes to reproduction, make sure you understand every part of reproduction. Then another thing is growth and development. After you have been produced, you need to grow and develop. So it is also important to understand growth and development. Now, if you are you, you clearly see this, you will find that for item number one, item one, item two, and item three, they are clearly pointing towards if it is plant, it is going to plant. If it is animal, it is going to animal. But when it comes to item four and five, they are general. When talking about coordination, what are you coordinating? Are you coordinating in what? In plants or are you coordinating in animals? But look at this. This is why this is why this is important. What does the examiner expect from you? Or what do we expect you to understand under that particular item? So this is why they are telling you here, appreciate how human body coordinates various activities and adjust to ensure normal functioning of the body system. Basically, you are going to be focusing more of your attention when you are reading this item on how a human body coordinates. You understand? That's why you should not be confused. Some of you are going to read a lot and you are still going to fail. Some of you are going to be reading things that are out of the syllabus. Some of you are going to be reading things that are not going to be said. So this is why I'm telling you, when you're reading this section, focus on appreciating how a human body coordinates various activities and adjusts to ensure normal functioning of body systems. Then finally, 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 inheritance, obviously. What are you going to be focusing on? What should we be at the back of your mind when you're talking about inheritance and their variation? You should actually appreciate how traits 
are inherited in organisms. You are going to appreciate how characteristics, how characteristics are actually are being passed to the next generation. Obviously, when you are stubborn, how are you going to pass your stubbornness to the next generation? Anyway, that is an example. But obviously, most characteristics we'll be looking at is tall, fast passing down the tall characteristics, black passing out the black characteristics. Obviously, there are so many characteristics that we are talking about. But when you are reading about this part, this item 5, you should actually appreciate how traits are, are inherited in organisms, how we pass down our traits to the next generation. Uh, and then, pass to generations, obviously, I've already talked about two generations, through reproduction and uh, manifested as organisms grow. So, when you pass down your, your genes to the next generation, uh, when you are reading here, you should appreciate. We should appreciate that we really pass down our characteristics through reproduction, and then these characteristics try to manifest as organisms grow. You understand? As organism you grow, you start seeing that you had a, a very big head, and also your child is also having a very big head. So that's how you can. When you are reading these things, you should be able to appreciate how really we pass down our characteristics through reproduction, and then when you pass down the characteristics, you should also appreciate how these characteristics come up to reflect as the organisms the organism really grows up so basically i love the fact that most of these final items they are focusing more of actually organisms uh this one is focusing on humans we ourselves we need to understand ourselves better that's why item four is mainly on humans item number five is cutting across humans and plants but basically, how do they pass down their traits? That is very, very important. Now, I think I've broken down the topics for you. I promise, just promise me, please, that you are going to read these topics and understand them. And you are going to step in your exams when you are actually well conversant with these very topics. So basically, it is not a cram work that you should read, read them, and then you are going to pass. Read them, analyze, understand them, because they are going to be testing on your understanding and your imagination capability, because the questions are going to be in scenario based. But why is it that what I've broken down is really so important? It is so important because this is how the questions look. You already know the items, and this is how the questions look. So this is like part of the questions or an example of the question paper that can be brought. And you can see how the scenarios really come in. You can see item number one is here. or oh, this is question number one. Obviously, let me first tell you about the composition. So this is the composition that we have right over here. This paper consists of seven examination items in which, our, in which section A and B. You are going to be having section A and B. So section A has three compulsory questions. So when you talk, when we are talking about this, you say this one, one, two, three, they are compulsory. These are the compulsory questions that are going to be brought. That's why they introduced to you. Section A has three compulsory questions. So what we are saying again is that section B has two parts. Has part one, part two. Part one, item answer, you are going to answer one item from each part. I think you get it. So we have part one and part two. So this is the part one. Section B is going to have this section b is going to have parts so section b has this as part one we are having this human psychology as part one that as part two so you're going to pick question from there so it means that we if we have already three questions up here that are already compulsory part one of section b has two questions part two of section b has two questions it means two questions are coming from here you'll answer one Two questions coming from here, you'll answer one. That's making it a total of five questions or five items for you. So that is it. So when you have, we come here, we are going to answer five items in total. So that is the breakdown. Now you can see an example of an item, how an item looks like. This is how an item looks like.